Hi, how are you? Mark Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a BMW iX. Next to me is a Tesla Model X. Next to that is an Audi e-tron S. And next to that is a Mercedes EQC. And we're gonna have an electric SUV drag race. So let me compare these car statistics. So this BMW has 523 horsepower. The Tesla has 541 horsepower. The Audi has 503 horsepower and the Mercedes has 408 horsepower. As for torque, the BMW has 765 newton meters. The Tesla has 755 newton meters. The Audi has all the torque, 970 newton meters. And the Mercedes has 760 newton meters. Now, electric cars, they may have torque, but they're also quite heavy because of all the batteries. And this BMW weighs in at 2,510 kilos. The Tesla is slightly lighter, but still quite porky at 2460 kilos the audi is the heaviest though it comes in at 2620 kilos while the mercedes is the lightest at a still rather porky 2420 kilos in terms of pricing the mercedes is the cheapest 67000 pounds the audi it costs 89000 pounds the tesla 83,000 pounds and this BMW is the most expensive at 94,000 pounds though it does have the most expensive feeling interior to match. Now I want to say a big thank you to RSEV so it's Richard Simons he's got his own YouTube channel about electric cars really worth checking out put a link in the description he's provided the Tesla Model X long range and the Audi e-tron S. I'd also like to say a big thanks to one of our car wire dealers Vertu who supplied that Mercedes EQC a link to them is in the description as well and if you're thinking about buying an electric car, you need to check out CarWow Electric Hub page. We've got all the latest info on a range of EVs and you can compare offers to make sure you're paying a fair price for whichever EV you're wanting to buy. Now, if you click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll follow the link in the description, you can go straight there. Alternatively, you can do it at a later date by simply Googling Wow Me Car Wow and we'll wow you. Anyway, let's go on with this race. Normally before we'd race, we'd do a car wire sound check, but um, we've got electric cars and they don't make a noise. Oh, actually this one does because composer Hans Zimmer has worked on some sounds for this car when you're driving it. And then we'll make up some other sounds for the other three cars. Go on editors, have some fun. Anyway, that's enough of that nonsense. Let's go on with the race. Three, two, Blimey, that Audi just took off. EQC is ahead of me at the moment, but now I'm coming past. Can I gain on the Audi? Get all the hands in my noise. Audi shot off. So that one extra motor pays off really didn't it yeah it was a, a good launch so what happened with the tesla and the mercedes so mercedes shot up first but then i came came past so jens in the tesla model x do you think any tesla fanboys are going to complain about this race probably because it's not performance version so why haven't we got the performance version probably cost a bit more money <laughs> <laughs> was it also because we couldn't get one we could have done but i think the performance version would kill all of these cars that are here now. Well, there you go, Tesla fanboys. The reason we didn't have it is because the race wouldn't be fair. The Tesla Model X performance just has way more power. Also, for you watching in America, you're probably going, wait a minute, um, that's the old Tesla Model X. Well, yes, we haven't got the very latest facelift version here in the UK. Not our fault, it's Elon's. Elon, hurry up, send them across, please. In fact, I want my plaid. Where's my plaid? Where's my bloody plaid? Do you know what? We've decided to have another race for good measure because the Audi might have jumped the start and some of the other cars might have been a bit slow. Not me. No, I did it perfectly. Honest. Anyway, let's do it again. Three, two, one. Oh, that was a better start from everyone there. <laughs> Apart from the Audi. <laughs> oh, I'm liking this one. What's going on?
Audi. What the heck happened to you? It delayed a lot longer than it did in the first launch. Did you get beaten by the Tesla? Yeah, I got beaten by the Tesla. Sorry. Did you get beaten by the Mercedes as well? Uh, I didn't actually look right. I, Merck, did I beat you? No, I was definitely last on that one. Audi, what I want you to do is try launching it without using the brake, just having it on like um, hold or something on the parking brake, and then there won't be a delay when you lift off the brake because you won't be lifting off any brakes. Uh, yeah, I'll just floor it and try that, yeah. Do you want to just try it from there to make sure it works better? Yeah, I'll try that. He's actually a professional racing driver, don't you know? Honest. No, he is. Teaching him a thing or two. Didn't I destroy you on the first launch? Just checking. Shut up. <laughs> Classic racing driver, ever the competitive spirit. This is the final race. This is the one that really matters. Everything else was just a practice. Hopefully everyone can launch perfectly this time. Three, two, one. Oh, that was so neck and neck. <laughs> Great launch from everyone. Here we go, can we pass the Tesla? Can I catch that Audi? Come on, BMW in power! Oh, woo! Woo Best two out of three, Audi. I think everyone launched perfectly then, but you got a first, really rockets off the line, that Audi, but then this BMW, it builds and builds and builds, and yeah, I'll beat you, mate. So then what exactly happened? Well, the BMW just about beat the Audi, though they both completed the standing quarter mile in a time of 12.7 seconds. The Tesla took 13 seconds and the Mercedes was last with a time of 13.7 seconds. Right, what we're going to do now is a rolling race from 30 miles an hour. And what we're going to do is see who's first to the quarter mile, the half mile, and then the full mile. We'll also see what our top speed is when we hit the full mile. Another thing we're going to do right now is look down at our remaining battery. I've got 87% remaining. What have you got in the Tesla? I've got 81 now. Okay, what have you got in the Audi? 70% remaining. And how much have you got in the Mercedes? I'm sitting on 87% charge. Okay, remember that figure? and we'll see how much we've got left after our two rolling races. Let's do this first one though, from 30 miles an hour. With me people, with me. Three, two, one, go. God, that Audi takes off. It's first to the quarter mile because we were so close to it. Dropping the Tesla and the Mercedes. Can I beat the Audi to the half mile? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's gonna happen? Nah, oh, it's like I've hit a wall. Is this the top speed? 125 mile an hour. The Audi's coming back. Can I beat him to the mile though? Is he gonna come back for the mile? This is so close, I've just hit a limited. 125, and here comes the Tesla. <laughs> the Mercedes is like in the distance. Okay, so that cost me 2% of my batch. I'm on 85%. What are you now in Tesla? Uh, 3%. Cost me 4%. That cost me 3%. So I went in the BMW. So what was your top speed? I just like stopped at 125. How about you in the Tesla? It had 130 something. I was 130, 32, I think. You in the Audi? Yeah, mine got to 130 and then just stopped. So I think that's why I was calling you in. And Mercedes. Yeah, I hit a wall at 115 and you guys were so far ahead of me by that point. <laughs> okay, let's try something else. Same thing again, but we're going to start from 50 miles an hour. See if there's a difference in how the Audi picks up compared to this BMW from 50, or if it just rockets off the same. So here we go, I'm going to count this in now. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Tesla's off good that time. This is interesting. <laughs> All right, that's a half mile. And I've hit a wall. Now here comes the Tesla. Oh crap. Oh no. Can the Audi catch me as well before the mile? Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. It 
so Tesla, wow, that was interesting. You took off just as quick as the Audi and I wasn't far behind and then Tesla, you came past me. This is pretty good, 139 miles an hour. So Tesla's got the highest top speed. So these cars, these German cars, are supposed to be good on the Autobahn. Actually, the Tesla will be better on the Autobahn. And as for my remaining range now, I've got 82% of battery left, which means that I have used 5% doing the two races and driving back at 50 miles an hour for a mile to reset for that second race. So 5% I've used. How much have you used in the Tesla? I got 74 left, which means I used 7% in two races. I lost again, I've used 8% my battery. I've dropped down to 80%, so I've used 7% in total over two races. Yay. Now, obviously, some of that is due to the size of the batteries, and this BMW has the largest battery. What I'm going to do now is just quickly flick up uh, the stat comparison of these cars. You can compare all the, the performance stats and the battery capacities as well. So you just have to press pause now, and you can look at that in your own leisure time. Leisure time. Anyway, that's enough of that. We're going to do the final challenge. Now you're going to do a brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. See which car stops in the shortest distance. Here comes the line. Here comes the line right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Right, do you know what? Everyone goes on about Tesla's brakes not being as good <laughs> as the Germans. And I think that proves the point, unless it's something to do with Jens's uh, braking reaction time. But that Audi clearly won. And then this BMW, then the Mercedes, and um, quite a distance ahead was the Tesla. How do you feel about that, Tesla? Yeah, I just kept sliding and sliding. There's nothing good I do about it. So, that was interesting. Now, if you want to see all the best deals on the latest electric cars, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below to go to CarWow, okay? And you can just compare offers, reviews, and all that kind of stuff as well. Big thanks to RSEV. Go check out their YouTube channel for loads of electric car content, and of course, Virtue Motors for sorting out that Mercedes. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like.